Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to another of the daily roundup. We said we're going to do these every single day, little short videos, maximum 10 minutes long, just to, for people that don't like the long uh, news style of streams, just to round up all your information that's happened in the day in one little bit so you can watch it either at the night time, like now, or in the morning and, uh, and just see what's been happening in the last day. Uh, we'll stick to like, the main news and stuff, but we'll throw some uh, transfer rumours and things like that in there every so often. That's not today, though. There's no rumours today. Uh, it's been a bit of a quiet one on the city front, as as, as all knows. But um, there is some Sergio Gomez news, some Alex Garcia, who was getting a move, an ex-City player. Um, some John Stones news and stuff. But we'll get straight into it. If you haven't already, do us a favour, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Please like these videos. It helps us know that uh, you kind of want this short-form content just to get you through the news as quick as possible. Um, starting off... With Alex Garcia, used to be a Manchester City player. Thought I'd throw this in anyway, just because um, it's it's good to see him doing well. Um, Alex Garcia is now set to join Bundesliga champions by Leverkusen for eighteen million pound, or more than eighteen million. Well, I say pound euros, um, which is mad. He's going from Girona, obviously owned by the City Football Group. Um, so fair play to him. Absolutely buzzing for him. Um, it's good to see ex-City players doing well. I know we didn't really do anything at City. And I think uh, a lot of the younger heads that play FIFA, like me, they'll remember him as just the guy who was always in the crowd. Not sure why, but Alex Garcia has been in the crowd in FIFA forever. Um, moving on. Uh, Euros starts this week. Um, we've been doing Euro stream. We're turning pretty much into Euros extras. There's going to be loads of Euros watch alongs on the horizon. Um, but City will be the most represented football club at the Euros with 14 players, um, which is. Good in one sense, um, not so good in the other if you want players to get rest and you want to avoid injuries, but I like it. It's good. It means that when we get to watch these games, we're seeing as many City players as possible. Uh, moving on to the transfer news then. Uh, City are trying to sign Wolfsburg forward Zenon Pecinovic. Could have said that wrong. Could have said that right. I won't find out. Uh, Zenon Petjinovic is 19 years old, a forward. Um, not sure on the price tag of this guy. That's according to Kicker via Sport Witness. Uh, but yeah, City looking interested in him. Only 19 years old. Whether or not that screams a bit CFG. But uh, personally, I've never seen him. Let me know in the comment section below if you can work out the kind of player that I'm trying to say. Um, if you have seen this guy before, if he is any good, and if you think he'll be just a CFG signing or he'll be someone that maybe City are going to look to to actually utilise next season. Stinks to CFG. Um, back to Euros. John Stones um, as a sickness bug and is confined to his bedroom to prevent the spread of the squad throughout the uh, spread through the, of the bug throughout the England squad. So he's going to miss um, the opener against Serbia more than likely. Um, he's, a, he's a full doubt for it, which is uh, unfortunate, <laughs> very unfortunate, as he's, he's one of our better defenders. Um, that's a kind of Rob Dorsett's guy, and it's pretty much uh, confirmed that. Uh, back to transfer news then, and this one is one that kind of makes sense with all the keeper stuff that's been going on. Uh, FC Porto uh, goalkeeper Diogo Costa has been watched by European clubs for a long time. City amongst those mon uh, monitoring uh, recently. The 24-year-old exit is becoming an increasingly real scenario with a 75 million euro release clause in his contract. Now, if the rumours about Edison were true and he were to leave, this guy was one of the people, one of the names that people in our chats, our live streams, kept saying Diogo Costa is from FC Porto. Now, there's a release clause in there which makes this very achievable. It's a high release clause though. 75 million euro, it's a lot of money to pay for him. But if Edison was to leave, then this guy is probably going to be on that list of one uh, keepers that we're going to be monitoring and um, making sure because we, we pretty much need a decision from from Edison, if, if he does want to stay or go. Now, I know that uh, we spoke yesterday about Pep Guardiola going to Abu Dhabi and, and, and sorting out his future, but also in that was the future of all the other players, the key figures at this football club, including players, and a key figure at this football club is Edison. He's very key to the way that we play football. So we need to know what he's doing, and if, if he does unfortunately decide to leave, I don't think that's the thing. I think he'll stay, personally. But then we know that you've got the option 
Um, you've got the option of this Diogo Costa with the £75 million release clause in there. Now, last on this, like I say, short ones, sometimes they'll be longer than this. Sometimes they'll be short, nice little condensed news uh, videos. Um, I, I didn't really want to throw any rumours into this one. Uh, this one, Sergio Gomez. So we spoke yesterday about Gomez and um, how some clubs are after him. Now, Sergio Gomez has asked to leave Manchester City. Um, he has, already has a few offers. He's favouring Real Sociedad. That's who we spoke about yesterday. And apparently they've been satisfactory, but a deal is not close. All parties, especially Sociedad, um, are optimistic of, of concluding the operation. That's the Ariel AS, never the best source uh, via Sport Witness. But um, I do believe that to be true. I think Sergio Gomez has probably asked to leave Manchester City this summer, given the fact that... Of, I mean, he's been here for a few years now, but it's not really hit hit the ground running for him. He, he's, he doesn't get game time. I said yesterday, he comes on as a, a last-ditch throw at the dice of a we're 5-0 up job. Yeah, you you get a run out. He, he's one of them kind of players. It's unfortunate with him being a City fan, but it, it just that's the way it is. Sometimes it just doesn't work out for players. I do think he'll go on somewhere else and not be a left-back. I think he'll go and play a different position again, and he'll probably excel. I think, um, I think there's a good player in there with Sergio Gomez, just not at Manchester City, and definitely not at left-back. Um, but it does make sense him asking to leave. And Real Sociedad, I think City will be able to work a deal out with them. Um, I think they'll get that on point. I think it's more than likely just going to be City want to offload him on a permanent basis. Uh, but I think any any teams that are looking at him will probably be wanting a loan. Uh, but that concludes the news for today. Like I say, quite one, not too much going on. Didn't want to throw all the bullshit rumours at you um, and just keep... You know, paint you with that brush we'll keep those for a different one uh, for tomorrow's uh, when we have nothing else to talk about uh, but if you have um, enjoyed the video please hit the like button scratch out if you are new we'll be back tomorrow this late probably again uh, with some more transfer news and more daily roundup so we'll see you in the next one see you in the next